Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and this time it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. This is an early look at their upcoming, and they already had it for pre-order, so you should be getting it soon, their McFarland Store Gold Label Exclusive, Robin, Dick Grayson, the Boy Wonder, you get it. It's Gold Label Collection right there on the box, although I don't know why they made this Gold Label, everybody would have picked this up at the store says he's from dc rebirth on the side of the box and then they have all-star batman and robin on the back side of the box here's the barcode but like i said you're not going to need that it's an online store exclusive so in either case this is going to be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new mcfarland toys dc multiverse dick grayson robin the boy wonder and while I got all you sidekicks here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, is everything out of the box? He comes with, and this is cool, it's a rope connected to a batarang. And that's all it is. And I used to make these all the time back in the day with my Kenner Batman figures. Don't want to get a knot in it. All my old ones have knots in it, that's for sure. It's a fairly decently long rope, although not long enough. I'll show you that in just a second. He comes with a bevy of extra hands, all kinds of expressions, right? Including trigger hands because, you know, Robin does. And then uh, my favorite being a thumbs up and the pointer finger. So I like the selection of hands, and then you have Robin the Boy Wonder himself. And it's basically Carrie Kelly with a new head and a bunch of new hands. And I know this is supposed to be Dick Grayson Robin, but with that head sculpt right there, with that smirk, that smarminess, this is Jason Todd to me, okay? And for those of you wondering, well, he's kinda got a big head, he's kinda goblinish. I've heard that a lot. You can talk to Jim Lee. Children, younger teen characters are always drawn with big eyes and larger heads. That's just how it goes. This works for me in terms of what I think about with Jason Todd, not Dick Grayson, we'll just say. Now, being that it's a repaint, reuse of the Carrie Kelly Robin from The Dark Knight Returns, you're going to get the same exact articulation. But the main hiccup, I'm going to say, is in the flesh-colored paint. And... We'll just say, once it starts to get into the joints, it starts to fleck off. And that, overall, is what I'm most disappointed about, because it looks terrible. It really does, and I'm bummed about that. Say what you will about the legs. He looks like a wooden puppet. It's a toy. Yeah, we could really do without the pins, that's for sure. When it comes to flesh-colored characters, we'll just say. But really, it's the paint that bugs me the most. Because it is sloppy and it gets in the joints. It's flecking off to the point where I don't want to move it around too much because I don't want it chipping anymore. Now, he does have the older articulation before they started updating it. He does have toe articulation. He's got the little mini green boots, the elfin boots. To me, this is classic Robin. It's not, again, Dick Grayson to me. It's definitely Jason Todd. And I, I like that more so because now Dick Grayson to me is always going to be Nightwing, whereas Jason Todd was just the tragic Robin. And with all those extra hands, you can really pose him out properly. You can have the pointer hand, right? Joker, right? Stop where you are. That looks cool. I definitely dig that. When it comes to the rope, throw out the batarang, tie up his feet, pull him back. You got him. You've caught the Joker, but it really doesn't leave enough string for you to do much with. You barely get it around a character... And then you're left with nothing. So it's not really long enough. But, again, with the gestures, the thumbs up. Hey, he's cocky. He's looking at me. That's Jason Todd, right? Especially with Year 2 Batman. These two go together perfectly. I love the way these two look together. So that's how it's going to go on my shelf. If you're wondering about, let's say, the Blue Hush Batman, totally works as well. Any Batman will work with this Robin because of his size. And to see... Most of the Bat family now with the new Nightwing. You got Batgirl, you got Tim Drake. Can't wait for the more updated 90s costume, right? That's a coming soon. So yeah, he'll fit in nicely, however you kind of want to switch him around. And what's kind of funny is the photography you can get out of it. Robin sneering up at Superman, sneering back at Robin. I totally dig that. Now, the one caveat being 
he's way too young. This is like the adolescent 14, 15 year old, right? Robin, he's not going to go with this version of the Teen Titans they put out. That's for sure. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarland store online gold label exclusive Robin, Dick Grayson, the boy wonder, even though it's Jason Todd. I'm just going to go with that. And thank you again to McFarland Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. Again, it's not spectacular. It's not great. He has a lot of great things going for him, but the paint is a huge disruption to this figure. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, let's just be glad they didn't pack a crowbar in, right? That would have been awkward. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.